Yo, hi guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to the channel if it's your first time here around here. So, behind me over there is Bradford Magistrates Court, but we'll come to that in a minute. Let's have a look at what I woke up to this morning. Yep, so whatever time it was this morning, I got woke up to um, six police officers outside my bedroom um, to arrest me. Um, I was arrested for sending a malicious communication. Now, um, as it currently stands, I can't actually legally tell you whom this person is. Um, I can disclose that on or just after the 28th of this month. Um, I was given a caution for the matter. The um, I, I admitted it, like, because it, basically what it was, guys. Let me fill you in. So on Facebook, if you don't know it already, check it out. Marty Blackburn Auditing page on Facebook. Link is below. I um, put a video on, and this guy. It was actually the video in regards to uh, William Sampson. You know the um, violent thuggish officer who did the world a favour by topping himself. That copper. Um, Anyway, this guy took an, um, a dislike to myself in the video and he was uh, repeatedly, consistently, vigorously um, leaving negative comments and me being me, can't keep my mouth to myself half at the time, I bit and I, ooh, I went on him and I went in on him hard. I, um, I put him, oh, I put him down like a, whatever. I need to be careful what I'm saying here. Anyway, the little, we're gonna call him Mr. Feces, right? For the purpose of this video, Mr. Feces um, rang the police and reported a malicious communication. Yeah, I know it's raining, guys. I'm all wet, but it's all right. Um, yeah, he got me arrested. <laughs> um, as for the armed police that you saw in that video, um, as you, uh, I think you've, I think you've seen a few. You know, I like my um, legal firearms. Don't do nothing with them. I don't even go hunting no more. I used to, but not anymore. Um, but I have a few, I have a few of them um, in my bedroom and the police have come across them while conducting a search trying to look for my mobile phone which I wasn't letting them get. I, um, they asked me where my mobile phone was, I said it's in cash converters. <laughs> Actually it was um, hidden away let's say. The second I heard police I was like boom get rid of that phone fast. Um, but yeah they've, um, yeah it was, it was mental anyway so I spent about four or five hours in uh, custody um, and it turns they were actually rushing me through because I had a court hearing today at um, Bradford Magistrates in regards to the... Remember when they seized my little electric scooter? The kid is like electric scooter. They took that, so I was up for trial today. But the police had done themselves over really because they seized the um, laptop from a few other parts of memory card. Uh, but one of their memory cards was the memory card that has my evidence on me that I needed for my defence at trial. So the, the trial wasn't going to go ahead no matter what because they seized my stuff. But the police rushed me through and got me dealt with at Elland Road Police Station in Leeds in enough time so I could get myself over here to Bradford Magistrates for two o'clock. I got here at quarter past two, so, you know, fine, 15 minutes late. Well, this rain's getting heavier, guys. And um, I got there... I rushed over here, paid a taxi from Leeds all the way over here, 20 odd quid, and um, they'd already changed the dates this morning. As soon as the police informed them that I was in custody, um, the courts just took it upon themselves to determine that I wouldn't be there for two o'clock, which is, in quite honestly, it's a pretty fair judgment. It is a fair judgment. Um, however, there was one, <laughs> and I was there for quarter past, so now that case has been adjourned until the 31st of October but they've moved it to Huddersfield Magistrates or Kirklees Magistrates however you want to say it why they're doing that for I haven't got a clue that was absolutely messing me about on a stupid level but that's what they're doing that's what they're going to continue to do next it's me um, so as for the case today um, I was given a caution for that because the sergeant said that well you haven't been in trouble for like over three years Marty 
so you know you're eligible for a caution for the malicious communications um, and um, along with that I also got further arrested um, for some other matter which wasn't even my matter it was actually a bit of a cannabis of all things um, but you, I openly admit to you guys I don't smoke cannabis don't smoke it if I did I'd tell you anyway it wouldn't really bother me um, but yeah no I had, I had some friends around and there was like was that this much of weed in a bag so me being me obviously I said yeah it's mine it's mine da, 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 I smoke it not telling you who it is so I just said it's mine um, and they put me on a, 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 a one day drug rehabilitation course I don't even fucking smoke weed absolutely mental but we'll see what, we'll, we'll see what that entails I'll give you a 100% full uh, development on that um, I'll even see if I can do some um, yeah said enough I'll give you full um, updates on that uh, but anyway I got a caution for that as well because obviously I've never been done for fucking anything like that um, but yeah it's an absolute what an absolute joke it's been sorry about that disturbance there the missus were phoning me so um, yeah what a day I've had and it's, um, it's only just almost four o'clock absolutely bonkers um, I'm actually uh, just getting myself sorted meeting the missus and we're heading over to Blackpool um, for a night or two go and have a little bit of fun have a few shandies and um, yeah enjoy it um, that's more or less it to be fair guys I ain't got much else to say oh um, I did have a little update for you in regards to um, Alan Dudzinski um, the wrong un PC that I followed the other case for you should know who he is um, that guy that would always oh god sorry about that again that was my brother phoning um, <coughs> um, so yeah Alan Dudzinski he had his misconduct hearing that me and <coughs> that me and News Now Yorkshire attended personally and um, he got obviously he got sacked uh, without notice um, the reason why we didn't catch him on camera that day is because he did fail to attend um, but there's no legal requirement for him to have attended so it kind of goes about saying that he wouldn't attend wouldn't it you know what I mean last thing you want, he wants to do is be staring his peers in the eyes after what he's done the shameful little scrot um, but yeah that's that guys oh and on top of that um, I have had communications with Liv3 and Arthur Taylor both are fine both are well both are currently in HMP Doncaster aka Marshgate um, re Arthur Taylor Arthur Taylor will be getting released on the 4th of August from Sheffield Crown Court when we are sentenced re live free um, will be getting a custodial sentence on the 4th of August no matter what because he is currently on remand up until November of this year um, so the only sentence that is available to him is custodial only what's going to happen to me well we don't know that's the big old question isn't it guys um, that's all I've got for you right now um, Guys, as always, you know what's coming. Stay safe, peace and respect.